So one of the advantages of having a Windows-based scan tool is it allows you to multitask. You can look at multiple things on the screen at the same time. Now, if you've watched one of our previous quick tip videos, we showed you how to do screen and screen with a scope and a scanner data window. This time, we're gonna walk through how to use a scope with a functional test, which can give you some other advantages moving around the vehicle. So let's walk through that. So I'm connected to this Camry, and what I wanna do is I wanna be able to cycle the fuel pump up and down. There's a functional test that allows you to change the duty cycle on the fuel pump, but I wanna be able to see the result on the scope as well. So in order to do this, we need to open both. So first off, we wanna go into guided component test and pull up a scope window. Now in this particular case, we don't have a specific fuel pump test, but we could go into any other test that allows us to have four channels. So in this case, the fuel injector will do, and we'll go to a signature test, and then we'll go to view meter to turn the meter on. Now you can see I already have one channel there, the car is running, I'm hooked up to the fuel pump already. First off, I need to add my additional channels. So we'll go into meter, brings it full screen. If I come down on the bottom right here, once, twice, brings up my uh, settings. So first off, I wanna turn on my other channels. So now we have our settings open and we need to make some adjustments because you can see we're all over the place here. So first off, we wanna set all of our voltage scales to 20 volts in this particular instance. And they're all sort of over the board. And 20 milliseconds there. Now also on channel four, I have a low amp probe, so I need to change that as well. So we go in here, low amps 20. There we go, and set that to 20 amps. So that's a good, kind of a nice easy rule of thumb, 20 amps on it, uh, 20 volts, 20 amps. Now I have this open, and as you can see, it looks a little messy. We got a lot going on, we got a lot of different colors going on, we can't really tell what's, what, what, we, what we're looking at. So the next thing I want to do is change my screen view. So I'll go to Setup, View, Layout, and then set that to four windows, and that'll separate them out for me. A few little adjustments for zero points here to get them on the screen, kind of in the same fashion. There we go. All right, so now I'm set up and I'm happy with the way this looks. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna make this into a different window so I can do the screen and screen split screen. So if I hit meter again, it turns it into a window. Now that I'm done and I'm happy with the way this looks, I can actually turn off those, those measurements as well. Next thing I'll go to my home screen, go into my scanner, go into the engine module and then we'll find a functional test it's under an actuator test and as we can see over here we have one for control the fuel pump duty ratio so it's going to load into the test so in this functional test you can see we have the data stream on screen and we also have our two functions up here 17 percent duty 35% duty. So I want to be able to control this and see the scope as I said before. So if we open this window or, or open the taskbar, we can see a scope viewer window there. Click on that. Our scope viewer window opens up. We can then take it, slide it over to the side, and it'll snap onto that side. Then we can take the diagnostic suite, snap it to the other side, and now we have our scope viewer on one side and we have our scanner on the other side. So right now it's at an idle and that's at about a 17%. So if I click on the 17%, you see not a lot of change with that. If I go up to 35%, which is our other option, you can see how the pattern changes. My current flow gets larger. My pattern uh, gets a little bit, looks a little bit different. Looks like it's kind of missing some stuff, but that's really just the speed that it's going at the duty cycle that it's occurring. So there's a fairly steady duty cycle and there's, we have a lot more on time, off time uh, when we switch to that 35%. So you could do this with, in this case, we're using an extreme example with a fuel pump, but you could do it with, say, maybe an EVAP vent solenoid or an EVAP, yeah, an EVAP vent solenoid that'd be in the back of the vehicle, and you want to be able to see and test underneath and then have it wirelessly connected on the front, open and close. You could do that as well. A uh, bunch of other functions that you could use this for, not just for scanner data versus scope data.